What's up, Smashers? It's Trev talking this morning. We got uh, about ooh, all kinds of pelvic stuff going on. You guys are sending me a ton of messages about um, pelvis, squats, knees, low back, all this kinds of stuff that hurts. Well, you know what? We're going to get rid of all of it right now. We have um, a lot of the problem with the pelvis is there's so many muscles that cross that hip that take over the uh, orientation of that femoral head in the, in the acetabulum that it starts to twist and turn. And it starts to grind away on that, uh, on, that, on that joint itself, beats it up, but then the ligaments get all thick and you lose a lot of, uh, a lot of the function of, that, uh, of function of that joint. You can hear what they're doing in the background, by the way, is uh, fight gone bad. If you guys haven't done it, uh, try it. It's a pretty much uh, one of the most horrendous workouts out there. And they all heard me say that and they're probably like, this sucks. Um, so talking about the hip, What's going on is to open up that pelvis, you need to be able to have your pelvis balanced out. So the, the, the problem is the pelvis moves around three axes. So if you look at this, right, X, Y, Z, so you're gonna have this rotation every direction. And the problem is as you orient around all over the place, that pelvis is gonna um, cause a lot of problems in that lumbar spine, but it's also gonna prevent you from opening up those legs the way they're supposed to and allow you to drop into the bottom of the squat. So check this out. What happens when you have a pelvis problem is you tend to push more with one leg than the other. So ask yourself this question, which leg is more sore versus the other one? So ask yourself which one is more sore when you're doing your squats, and I guarantee you it's one more than the other, and you're probably gonna get a lot of issues with that adductor. So the problem is when you're in your squat, you wanna be able to dump down at the bottom of that squat in a nice safe position like this, versus having those knees collapse in like this, and trying to push out and wobbling all the way up. And I guarantee you a lot of you guys are squatting like this, where you come to the bottom like this, and I've seen it one side or the other. I know it looks like I'm doing some kind of funky dance, but that squat's gonna trash your joints. So guess what? We're gonna unload the pelvis. We're gonna get you working the way they're supposed to. We're gonna balance it out all in three moves. Oh yeah, so cool, and it hurts. Oh, hurts so bad. I got a good shine going on the top of that head today, huh? So check this out. I'm gonna be a little quiet because there's a workout going on in the background. I don't wanna be that, don't wanna be that guy. So you're gonna take a band, all of this has to do with the band except for one movement. So you're gonna take a band, wrap it around, and then you're gonna get up to the wall. This is your basic pelvic balance. And I'll tell you, these three movements, pair them up together, probably get rid of about, let me get all the way over here, probably get rid of, oh, I don't know, maybe 90% of your pelvic issues. So all you have to do is kick up on the wall. So if you look, the band is gonna drag the femur into the back of the socket. I want your feet totally perpendicular to the ground, and then just allow them to fall out like this. The band is gonna help do the work for you. Don't let your feet roll out like that, keep it this way. And then just hang out here for how long? Two minutes, that's number one. You can see where my butt is as close to the wall as possible. This is not at 90 degrees, so this is number one. Number two, you're gonna wiggle worm away. You're gonna take this knee, so you can see this one here is at 90 degrees. You're gonna bring this all the way up and then you're just gonna sink down. So you wanna have no space in here, and you wanna have this hanging out like this, all the way across like this, for how long? Another two minutes. So you're gonna camp out like this, and guess what, you think you're gonna do the other side? Yeah, this is gonna peel away that high hip, it's gonna hit the adductor, it's gonna unload that glute max, that glute min, that glute medius, it's gonna peel away the hamstrings, it's gonna unload everything that's dragging on that pelvis. So go ahead and switch sides. And this is, oh, this is just horrendous. So you can see I'm at 90 degrees with my right leg. My left leg is right here. I'm okay with you pushing on the elbow, only in this one. When you do the seated figure four, uh-uh. So this is like a, like a supine figure four. And you're just gonna hang out like this, the band dragging the head of the femur into the posterior portion of the acetabulum, which is where it's the most stable, right? Wind up that joint capsule, and then just camp out like this for another two minutes on this side. Oh, this is just horrendous. I just wanna get out of this because it hurts so bad. I mean, it hurts so good, right? So that's how to balance out the pelvis, but we're missing one critical piece, and that's the anterior portion of the pelvis. So all you're gonna do, your basic couch stretch. Couch stretch is gonna hit the iliacus, the psoas, which comes off of the, uh, the anterior portion of the lumbar.